hello friends so now in this lecture we will discuss about the last point of the topic growth and that is a type of growth called diaxic growth now what is diaxic growth and how we get this diaxic growth what is the reason behind such type of growth pattern by some organisms now as you know in case of normal growth organism randomly grows in a normal culture and passes through a uh, lag phase log phase exponential uh, that is exponential stationary and death phase that is a typical growth pattern but in certain situation organism shows a altered growth phases or altered growth pattern now um, one of the growth pattern that type is diaxic growth now let us see what is diaxic growth suppose we have a culture and when this culture was allowed to grow in the medium having two different carbon sources uh, all of you know which are the carbon sources we are generally used in using in media these are the carbohydrates suppose we prepare a medium having two carbon uh, sugars or two carbohydrate as a carbon source for example suppose we have medium having glucose and lactose as a carbon source in that case organism when inoculated and allowed to grow especially if we have e coli and if we inoculate e coli in such on such medium organism shows a different growth pattern in this case there is this like this organism shows this growth pattern here there is two lag phases this is lag 1 this is lag 2 this one is the exponential phase this is another exponential phase and then organism shows the stationary phase so that typical altered pattern shown by the organism on the medium having two sugars which which are these two sugars glucose and lactose in this case organism shows the that typical pattern that pattern is called as diaxic growth now how to define the diaxic growth diaxic growth is the growth in which organism shows two lag phases separated by two log phases here presence of two exponential phases separated by two lag here organism first of all enters into first lag phase it shows first lag phase then it enters into the second log phase that is your exponential phase again organism for some period it shows a uh, lag period and again there is second station uh, exponential phase and at the end of that second exponential or log phase organism enters into the stationary phase so that is typical pattern called as diaxic growth so it was given by a scientist monon now we can define this diaxic growth as the growth in which a ex growth pattern in which a exponential phase was separated by was separated by two lag phases two lag phases the typical pattern of the growth is called as diaxic growth now why this diaxic growth is there here we have cultivated we have inoculated e coli on the medium having two sugars glucose and lactose medium consists of both the sugars glucose as well as lactose so on such medium organism shows such type of the pattern having two lag phases and two log phases and then organism enters into the stationary now what happens why this diaxic pattern was shown by the organism here e coli or every organism has tendency to utilize simple sources here glucose and lactose are the carbon sources organism uses simple um, source of carbon and when we compare these two sugars glucose and lactose glucose was simple sugar as compared to the lactose lactose is a disaccharide so organism first of all utilize glucose and after complete utilization of glucose from the medium then organism come diverted towards the lactose so the period uh, now how this observed in the growth pattern here e coli first of all uses glucose the um, first lag this first lag period is required for the utilization preparation for utilization of glucose now what happens when you inoculate the organism on a plate this is the zero time the inoculated organism 
medium has both the sugars glucose as well as lactose so first of all organism has tendency to utilize glucose first of all organism prepares for glucose utilization and that requires some time this is your first line after first line now organism is ready to utilize glucose it will utilize glucose it will grow so this is the first log period exponential period at the end of exponential at certain point all glucose will be diminished all glucose will be utilized by organism now medium do not contain glucose and medium have lactose so again organism will require some time to prepare for the lactose utilization and that is your second lag so this second lag is the lag required for preparation of lactose utilization and again after preparation organism will utilize lactose and show the second exponential phase and then after completion of the utilization of both sugars organism enters into the stationary phase so that is the pattern of growth when two sugars are present now why organism gives such a response why there is two lag phases and why or how organism select simple sugar or that is glucose firstly and then it go for the lactose now it was explained by one mechanism and that mechanism is explained by studying the catabolite sub now all of you know the lag operon hmm? and uh, that lag operon consists consists of genes it is a set of genes required for enzymes which are required for lactose utilization it carries uh, that operon lag operon carries the information about the synthesis of enzymes required for lactose operon now that lactose operon shows a mechanism um, process of catabolite liberation now what happens in case of e coli why e coli uses lactose as a first um, carbohydrate and then it will go for the um, why uh, e coli uses glucose as first carbon source and then it utilizes lactose why this organism cannot simultaneously use both the uh, sugars now what happens for e coli glucose is simple as well as one reason is glucose is simple sugar second is enzymes for the glucose utilization are constitutive enzymes and third and very important reason is presence of glucose act as a catabolite repressor it represses name itself indicated it act as a catabolite represses repressor for lac operon and as i told lac operon is the set of gene used for synthesis of enzymes required for lactose utilization so when glucose is present in the medium it represses this operon to from its expression and that's why lac operon was not expressed and there is no synthesis of enzymes required for lactose utilization and that's why when glucose is present organism cannot use lactose but uh, when at the time when glucose was totally removed or totally used by the organism then as glucose is absent then lactose act as a inducer lactose act as a inducer for lac operon and then lac operon was expressed and there is synthesis of enzymes required for the lactose utilization that that happens in the second lag period so during the um, cultivation of organism on the medium having both the sugar we get this particular pattern called as diazic growth so that is about the diazic growth and next lecture we will see the next point of the topic till then thank you